So now I'm back at the one that I've chosen to be my master. There's two different things we need to tell this light. One, we need to tell it to start sending a YMAS wireless DMX signal out. And two, we need to change its state from running by itself to now running as a master. And the way we're gonna do that is, is we're gonna go into the menu options. I'm gonna go into my auto run function. So I press enter down to auto run. I'm gonna change the state from alone to now working as a master. Enter to save it, menu to go back, menu to go back one more time. Next, I'm gonna go to UI set, press enter. And there, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my RF remote control function is still on. And then we're gonna go back up and we're gonna get into my signal set. So instead of having a wire DMX option, we're gonna select a YMAS out, and that's how we're gonna tell this light that we want it to send a YMAS wireless DMX function out. Enter to save it, menu to go back, and if you notice, now the light says signal source wireless DMX. Now this light is still working through the RF remote control, and it's now the master, but it's now gonna send wireless DMX to my other lights. Let's change the other lights. So in here, we're gonna change our next light, and we're gonna go ahead and change this one to also receive signal. Instead of wired, we're gonna change it to wireless DMX. We're gonna also turn off the RF remote control. So you see RF down here, that's inside of the UI set. Enter to select, down to go to RF remote, enter to select, down to uncheck the RF remote control. So now this is the one that's gonna be listening to my master. It has the RF remote function off. I'm gonna do the same thing to my other three or four or five or six lights, however many I'm gonna be controlling using my one master. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Hit enter, go down to signal set and change it from wire DMX to wireless DMX. And we're also gonna turn off the RF remote control. UI set, RF remote is checked off. We're gonna uncheck RF remote control. And it's the same thing to the next one. Press menu. Uncheck the RF remote control. And we're going to change the signal instead of wired to wireless. Perfect, now the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to pair them through wireless DMX. So I'm back here at my master uh, moving head, the master Aerospot 60. Now, even though we're telling it to communicate through wireless DMX, it needs to know what to connect to via wireless DMX. So there's two steps that you wanna follow when it comes to wireless DMX. You wanna tell it what frequency to be under and what channel to select within that frequency. In this case, we're gonna choose the red frequency and the red channel. And here's how you do it. Before you turn the light on, you wanna press and hold the select button down here. We're gonna press and hold that button what you'll notice is that the signal LED will turn on and it'll be white. Once it comes on and it's white, we're gonna select our frequency. In this case, we're gonna select the red frequency. Once we find the red frequency, we're gonna press and hold it. It's gonna go white and then we're gonna tell it what channel within that frequency to use. So we're gonna choose red. So now the light knows that it's using the red frequency and the red channel. That's our master. Now we're gonna put the rest of our lights under the same frequency and the same channel, exactly the same way. We're gonna do it again. So here's my first light. Press and hold the select button, turn the light on. 
Once the light goes white, let it go. S look for your red frequency. Press and hold it. Once it's white, let it go. Look for your red channel within the red frequency. Once you find it, go ahead and let it go. Now we're gonna do the same thing to our next light. We're gonna tell it to communicate under the red frequency. And then we're gonna tell it to select the red channel. So I'm pressing and holding the select button directly below the LED. Press and hold it, turn it on. Once it's white, let go. Press it and look for your red frequency. Once you find it, press and hold it. Once it goes white, let it go. Look for your red channel. Once you find it, go ahead and let it go. Now, the last one, this is a fourth light. Press and hold it, turn it on. Once you find the white LED, look for your red frequency. Press and hold it. Once it goes white, let it go. Look for your red channel. Once you find it, let it go. So now all of our lights are communicating under the same frequency and the same channel. One of the things I want you to be careful with is when you do this, you press and hold the LED and you turn the power on, be very careful because the head is gonna turn on and it's gonna spin and do its boot up process. So be very careful when you do that, that you don't get your fingers caught up in the bottom or that your arms are in the way. Make sure that everything you do is from this point down. So now that they have all been all paired under the same wireless DMX frequency, I'm gonna show you what to look for when it comes to the LEDs once they start working together. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go ahead and repair the RF remote control to my master. You're gonna notice that it's the only one that's gonna show the letters in red showing RF. And another thing you might wanna pay attention to is, is that the light now, when it comes to signal source, it says wireless DMX. And the other ones are gonna say the same thing too. So once I press the spot button three times, one, two, three, it's the only one that shows the letters RF. Let me show you what the rest of them display. They don't display the RF letters because these three are waiting for their master to tell them what to do. Okay, great, so we've done everything. We've already set our master to send out wireless DMX. We've already told the rest of our slaves to receive a wireless DMX function. We've paired them to wireless DMX from one light to the other. Let me show you how you know you've done it correctly. Once I press the auto button on the remote control, since I've already paired to this master light, the, the master begins to send a wireless DMX signal. At that point, the LED blinks red. The rest are gonna start to blink green, indicating that they are receiving a wireless DMX function. So now I'm gonna press the auto button. There's my master. And then here are the ones that are receiving the wireless DMX function. Now, one thing to note very importantly, everything that we just went over, you're only gonna go through it once. You don't have to go over this every time you're gonna use these lights. You've now set them to be controlled by this one master. So now, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna reposition our camera so that you could see how through wireless DMX, there's more consistency from your moving heads and how they are better synchronized when you use the wireless DMX function versus all of them running in the RF remote control. So this is an example of the consistency you get when you have them connected through wireless DMX versus the RF remote control. Kind of the way I showed you earlier. This is the auto function, totem mode number one towards the front. And this again has pan and tilt towards the front, different color, different gobos. And this is uh, number two, a little bit of a strobe effect towards the front, pan and tilt still focused towards the front, different degrees. Here's number three. Number four is also a front facing totem mode. But if you notice the pan and tilt stays a little higher, still towards the front, but it's focused more towards the top. Number five, they're all gonna go to the left. Number six, they're all gonna go to the right. 
And number seven is gonna be a rear facing uh, show with its limited pan and tilt. Number eight is also towards the back. And number nine, as previously mentioned, is a 360 uh, function, but still a kind of focused pan and tilt towards the top. But I want you to pay attention to the consistency uh, when they are running through wireless DMX. Again, uh, the RF remote control is only communicating with my master on this side. This one is sending an YMAS wireless DMX signal to the rest. And these three are listening to what this one's doing. That's how you get this kind of consistency out of all of your different moving lights. Okay, so another cool uh, question that we get, and I think it's a valid one, is, you know, it's cool that they're all facing, doing the same thing, going in the same direction. But a lot of people ask, how do I get them to crisscross each other? How do I make them, you know, two go in one direction and two go in the opposite direction? It's, they look so much better when they're crisscrossing each other. So what I'm going to do right now is, is I'm going to show you how all you really have to do is reverse pan and tilt, and I'm gonna reverse pan and tilt on this one, I'm gonna reverse pan and tilt on this one, and I'm gonna show you how cool that show turns into. So I'm just gonna hit menu, go to pan, select reverse pan, and select reverse tilt. Save that, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one here. Reverse pan and reverse tilt. And now I'm going to go ahead and repair my remote to my master and show you how they now crisscross each other. And it's a simple setup. Now you could choose these two or these two. Or you could choose these two so that the effect is a little better. The good thing about this particular setup that it's battery powered. You could change it on the fly. So if I chose, for example, instead of these two to have the pan and tilt crossed, I wanted these two to have it, guess what? What if I just did this? I could reconfigure my setup on the fly as easy as that. So now I get a different type of crisscross pattern. Yes.